Okay, along with all the other loops that we've talked about, uh, the last one that we haven't discussed is the for of loop. This one's a fairly recent addition and very similar to the for in loop. So I've defined an object here, a variable called supernatural. Inside the object, there's three properties, actors, characters, and seasons. Actors is an array, characters is an array, and seasons is a number. So if I was doing a for in loop, I can access all of the properties for this object like this. The first part is the variable declaration. So I'm going to use the variable prop. This is going to represent each of the property names inside of whatever object you put here. So I'm going to loop through this and prop will represent actors, characters, and seasons. So if I did a console.log prop and we run this, there we go. Actors, character, seasons. So if we were to add onto this supernatural, I'm using the square bracket syntax because prop is a variable name. I can't do dot prop because prop, there's nothing here called prop. We run this again. There we go. Now, supernatural prop gives me the entire array, the entire array and the number. If I wanted to know what kind of object or what data type this is, we can say type of and we have object, object, and number. Now that may seem a little bit strange if you're fairly new to JavaScript, because this is an array, but an array is considered an object. It's not one of the primitive types. It's not a, a string, it's not a boolean, it's not a number. It's an object of some kind. If you want to find out if something is an array, there is another property, or rather a method, that belongs to the array object, is array. And then you can put the thing that you're testing inside the parentheses like that. And we go. So object true, it is an array object, true, it is an array, and the number is not an array. So that's looping through an object with for in. Same sort of thing happens if we were to look at an array. So I'm going to say supernatural.actors, and I'm going to loop through that. So it's going to be looping through each one of these values here. And if I did console.log prop, what I'm going to be getting is the way I would target. So the property for this is zero. This is one, this is two, this is three. There it is. So these are the index numbers. If we wanted the actual values, We'd have to say supernatural.actors, and then in the square brackets, you put prop to target the individual ones. Like that. So it's zero under three. Now what the for of loop does, which is really what we're trying to get at for this video, for of skips this step and just says, I want a variable that just lets me access this without having to write the whole chain and stick this inside square brackets. Just give me the value. So for name in supernatural dot actors console.log name. And name's not a keyword or anything, it's just a variable name. So the for in loop gives us the numbers for of There we are. There's the actual value. So instead of having to write the full path and then square brackets, the variable that points to the individual ones, we can just target this. So that's the difference between for in and for of. Any questions, please leave them in the comments. As always, thanks for watching.